We had a very unusual circumstance about a year ago, and that was the occurrence of both the uh, Haiti and the Chile uh, earthquakes. Um, what was interesting and, and rare about these was the differential potential and magnitude of them. The uh, Chile earthquake was the fifth most uh, uh, potent earthquakes in recorded history. Uh, the Haiti earthquake actually, with regard to uh, its uh, uh, Richter scale, was uh, moderate. The difference, however, in the impact of these two events was never so dramatic. And um, it, it, it really raised a lot of very serious questions about the relationship between disaster and earthquake consequences and also uh, pre-event preparedness measures, mitigation, and so on. It was it, almost a dramatic natural experiment, tragic though it was. Uh, and there was a great deal of research that was done this past year, particularly on Haiti, on Chile, trying to uh, explain, if you will, uh, the differential response that occurred there. Um, given a year, uh, we've, we believed that it was time to devote a day to really looking at what has been learned about these, these two events uh, in this little natural experiment that was taking place. Uh, we won't really know the end. It's going to be at least another three to four years, particularly because recovery in, in Haiti is uh, painfully slow uh, for a variety of reasons. Um, and so we really won't know the, the last chapter uh, for years down the road. But uh, normally at this, at this point, uh, you know, at the National Science Foundation, for example, we, we made uh, well over 50 individual research awards to study Haiti. And uh, that research is now in, and so this is an attempt to try to learn from it.